another amazing season of high school football in the Metroplex. And we have one more football MVP bobblehead to hand out. It goes to our coach of the year who led his team on an improbable run. Jason Tucker of Haltom High School had a feeling his Buffaloes might sneak up on teams before the 2018 campaign began. And when he took a 5-0 team into a district matchup with powerhouse Eunice Trinity, he made sure the rest of North Texas was put on notice. The Buffaloes manhandled Trinity 48-34 and went on to win the 3-6A title at 10-0. Tucker led Haltom to their best football season ever as the Buffaloes went 13-1 and four rounds deep into the state playoffs. For helping put Haltom on the map, Jason Tucker is our Coach of the Year bobblehead winner. And Jason Tucker joins us now in studio. All right, Coach, what do you think of the bobblehead? Most of the time it's players, <laughs> but it's got the coach deal going for you there. That's pretty awesome. That's, that's a, that's a good-looking deal. Yeah, you had a great season this year. I, I want to know when you knew this team had a chance to do something special with what you guys we, accomplished. We had a, a long, long lightning delay against a, a really good program in Lake Highlands early in the year, and we were down during the lightning delay, and our, uh, our players handled the lightning really, really well. We came out after the lightning delay and played really, really well against a good team, and, and then that's when we thought we had a good chance to, uh, to for, get in the playoffs first, and uh, we, at that point we thought we could play with Trinity, and uh, we were able to beat them and go on and win the district title. Okay, so I want to go to the Trinity game yeah. now, because that's when I think you really kind of came right. on the scene for everybody else. What was that game like for your team when what, what did it feel like to get that win that had to be like a huge confidence booster in your it, locker room. it was a huge confidence booster for our kids um, we we had to make key plays th throughout the whole game to keep the momentum Trinity got it back a couple times but our kids came up with with big plays our coach staff had a great game plan our kids executed it well it's probably the most complete game we played all year in the regular season I can't imagine what it was like on campus what was it like with the student body and, and how did they embrace this team because the scene at games was awesome. It felt like week in and week out. Oh, our, our support from our uh, from our school was great. The community was great. I, um, I know um, in the playoffs um, in our run, a couple of our wins I know for sure were due to the uh, the fan support we had. The the, the noise really helping our defense late in games. That, that was a big factor. So it was awesome. And I want to know now what it looks like next year. Because of course, as soon as you have a year like this, <laughs> yes. everybody wants to know what does it look like next year. Well, when you when you have seasons like that, you hope that you can snowball it, use it as traction to uh, to get your team back in the playoffs. And that, that's our goal. Hold them is to be a perennial playoff team. And we, we haven't been. We've been in two years in a row. We want, to, we want to be a program that's expected to be there every year and be there year in and year out. It was a great year this year. It was a lot right. of fun to watch. Congratulations on a great awesome. season, Jason, Thank and thanks for being in studio.